So when you think of containers, don't think of them as these secure, impenetrable vaults that you have to break out of, like with a virtual machine. When you think of containers, think of Tupperware containers, like in your kitchen. A container is just an isolated set of system resources given to accomplish one or more tasks. That's all it is. And so the isolation that you have there is not as deep or is not as thick as you would if you were virtualizing everything. And since we know that these things are just supposed to be small form, accomplishing one or a few tasks, let's keep them lean. You don't have to stuff your containers with everything, like an administrative dashboard or access to your status to other containers within the, the entire Kubernetes cluster. Just keep each container small form factor to what is designed to do. You also have to realize that Docker requires root access. It, it's really a kernel level utility. So that level of access is actually needed in order to isolate the resources. There is an experimental version of Docker where you can run Docker rootless, but for most people in production environments using the base use cases, you're going to have to run Docker as root. But we can abuse the fact that Docker runs as root, and we can abuse uh, people who haven't properly provisioned their containers to break out of them, as we'll see in the next command. So I've got Samurai WTF running, and let's say we just popped a user named Quill. So we'll do a quick sue Quill, and then just type in the password, and there we go, we have this user. Now, Quill is part of the Docker group, and we can double check this just with a quick groups command. Now that n simply knowing that the user is within the Docker group is enough so that we can try some privilege escalation right here. Paste in the command. Ta-da, we're root. So let's see a breakdown of the command. Oh. We're docker run IT, so run an interactive shell within the container. And let's pass in the following flags before we actually run our command. We do privilege, so hey, let's have access to the host devices and kernel functions. Net host is what you think, accessing the, the host entire networking stack. IPC host is little weird this is just opening up the namespace uh, the host namespace to the container and with the f tac v flag is a volume mount so what we're doing here is hey let's mount the root uh, the host root folder into the container and let's call it host so we're mounting that in and then once we do app line to root host, that simply is, okay, let's do the final step and make and change the root directory to that nest to that um, nested host within the container. By doing all of these, uh, by doing this specific command and all of these flags in order, you're breaking down the sort of you're breaking down the Tupperware, basically. You're breaking down the little layers of isolation and that separate the container from the rest of the system resources, whether it's the networking stack, the devices, um, net, and finally, just the entire file system. If you're interested in continuing your Docker penetration testing endeavors, check out the description below. We have links to our PECSEC course where we go over container security. Stay tuned to the Secure Ideas channel for more container and application security videos.